We're expected to learn more early tomorrow morning about what may have caused a man to shoot two of his co-workers and then police lead police on a chase before taking his own life. It all started late last night at the Roundy Supermarket Distribution Center in Economawak. Tonight, that grocery warehouse is shut down. Three people are dead. This crime spans several different cities. Tom Durian now in Waukesha County with what we know. The distribution center remains quiet tonight. Normally there'd be hundreds of employees showing up for the shift, but many of them are instead meeting with grief counselors. Show me around with 09 Roundies. Oconomowoc police en route to the Roundies distribution center thought they were responding to an industrial accident. But moments before they got there, a shooting had taken place. I think everybody right now uh, that's involved is um, they're um, confused. Tom Bennett is with Teamsters Local 200, the union that represents many of the workers here. He says around 1030 Tuesday night, a co-worker came in and fired shots, killing a janitor and a warehouse worker, both men in their 40s. Hey, Bennett, another ammo. We have another subject, another injury here. Bennett says workers tried to help those that were shot, but it was too late. The men had died, and the person who shot them took off. The vehicle crashed in first in Townsend, 900 Townsend. But it wasn't long before officers from multiple agencies caught up with the suspect, identified by sources as 41-year-old Freyron Cornelius. He crashed his car in Milwaukee and took his own life. I watched the individual get out and on their knees, and um, then we heard a gunshot, and he just bent over. The crash was loud enough to wake up neighbors, including Kenny Pete, who not only lives near the crash site, but works at the same Roundy's facility. Just sad, man. Just, just, it's just happened so close to home and where you work at. It's just, just sad. As the investigation unfolded, this home on the border of Wauwatosa and Elm Grove, where Cornelius is said to have lived with his mother, became a scene as officers looked for evidence. We checked to see if anyone there could talk with us about what happened, but no one was home. Meanwhile, the question why still remains to be answered. You know, and, and in these type of situations, there may never be a determination, right? Uh, we don't know what triggers a person to reach that point. Authorities will release more information in a press conference tomorrow. We could not find any criminal filings for Cornelius in the state of Wisconsin. We're told that this facility here will likely remain closed till later in the week. Reporting in Oconomowoc, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News. So the Roundy's warehouse is massive. It stretches over 1 million square feet. It operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The facility hires nearly 1,000 employees with up to 250 workers on during any given shift.